everyone and welcome to a wet and windy January morning here in France. I'm just with baby Oscar, he's having his breakfast and um, some really lovely uh, presents were received and some gifts and kind wishes. We thank you all for, for those and we're sorry we've been a bit quiet but as you can imagine it's all been a bit hectic getting him home and getting everyone settled. We've had, as you might have seen in the videos, we had Jenny's mum come and then my mum come and um, stepdad and we've had people coming and going but these are the first few days that things have settled down so the dust has settled and we're just getting into a routine with baby Oscar um, and we want to share something very very magical with you so in the next bit of this video you're going to see something which can only be described as truly truly incredible magical all the other words I don't think there are many any words that can really describe it but if you'd seen our other vlogs you will have been with us on the journey and we went a few times in and out of hospital and one of the big reasons we went uh, was, was because they noticed that he was breached so he was head up uh, or the wrong way up as we said and then we went through the whole well is he you know what's happening and what's going to happen and they planned for the c-section and said well when you come in i think it was the 14th it seems like a a millennia ago you're going to come in on the 14th we're going to do the c-section so 15th um, you know, really all being well, uh, everything being fine, that Oscar would have been delivered and we would be on our way to uh, another parenting uh, experience. So then what happened when we got there that night on the, uh, or the, the night of the 14th, the guy who, the midwife who was the, the guy that delivered Rupert, put the scan on mummy's tummy and he turned back the right way. So that was the other video when we were like, oh, what's going on? It's happening, it's not happening. And then they said, oh no, you can go home. So that was it. It was sort of all called off, go home, carry on and um, see what happens. But from that time to when we actually ended up that day going in um, and, and it all commencing, mummy moon had been having those feelings that something wasn't right and Oscar was really really turning and pushing and just not comfortable and it wasn't there was there was something that was awry so we'd been in twice probably in those times went in normal procedure they do tests and they they do the scans and uh, and they said no no it's fine everything's everything's cool and um, we just weren't really sure and then the day of the the 19th when we went in um, Mummy Moon was in lots of pain and Oscar had been really stretching and pulling again and just didn't feel good and we got to hospital and by the time we got there um, yeah lots and lots of pain lots of discomfort and we were sort of rushed away for a scan um, and they did a scan and said that his amniotic fluid had reduced to a, to a, 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 a you know not a critical rate but it was it was looking like things weren't um, as they thought um, and then that was between um, I think we got there about um, early afternoon um, by six or seven o'clock we were all rigged into the ward and they were preparing for either a c-section if, if he wasn't stable or um, a natural birth if everything carried on so <clears throat> we yes we, we weren't sure what was going to happen but as it transpired brilliant brilliant midwife some brilliant support and uh, it just worked out that as the night um, sort of set in that Oscar settled down uh, mummy moon was more comfortable um, she had the epidural and then baby Oscar arrived um, at 11 11 um, the the twist in the tale as it was which you'll see is um, what what we're about to show you and um, as we said it, lots of things led up to that lots of feelings that things weren't right and we're just very 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 um, grateful that it all turned out the way it did because for so many people a situation um, you know all situations uh, within childbirth can be extremely um, critical and we we've always been uh, very aware of that and we're just so so grateful that it all worked out well and um, yeah, what a what a uh, what a thing, uh, what a magical experience it was. Um, and this this last bit, which we're going to show you now, I think you'll all agree is uh, well. <clears throat> there are no words, as I said. It's just uh, watch it and see. And we'd love to hear what your comments are because for us, there's 
it is uh, the universe working in its uh, in its way. So uh, hope you enjoy. Thank you. 